yes, you are adorable. You want some bulletproof? Can I touch you? Can I touch you? Good body. What kind of animal are you? Oh my gosh. No way, it's a petting zoo. Como estas esta mañana? How are we? Do are adorable. <laughs> hey, you're gonna eat my YouTube channel. This place has got it all. Pony petting? Okay, maybe next week. Back to blending. Teddy Topper. Oh, today's mission. We're gonna go to Perisher Classic and shred, get some laps in, and then when we're done with that, Grant and Keeley, they live a couple hours more towards the coast. I don't know where exactly, but our mission is we're gonna head with them back to their place. They're gonna set us up with a spot to crash for a couple nights, and me and Niso are gonna try and get another camper van so that when we part ways with them, or if they have to do something else, then we can actually sleep somewhere and travel somewhere and hold our stuff. And yeah, it's gonna be sick. I'm stoked to get in the water the next couple days. But before we leave this insane campground, shout out to Adventist Alpine Village here in Jindabyne, or on the outskirts of Jindabyne. The homie Russ hooked me and Niso up with a free place to stay here. And no joke, it is mental. I believe it's like maybe 15 bucks a night and they have scorching hot Wi-Fi. They have outlets all over the place. They got the camp kitchen where you can cook all the food that you want. They got charging station for your boys, campfires, picnic tables, spots to post up. They got pony petting. They got hot showers, bathrooms open 24 seven. You can come, they got electric outlets. You can do everything you want to here. Playgrounds for kids, kangos running wild everywhere. And yeah, just huge shout out to this place if you guys are in the area or if you plan on coming to Australia and you want to ride Parisher at some point, this is definitely the place to stay. So shout out to Russ and shout out to Adventure Alpine Village over here because it really is the one. We're going to be coming back here for sure once we get this camper van and posting up. So not much more to say than that except shout out to Grant and Keeley for being the ones and shout out to Bulletproof. Don't forget, use that code capital W Willax10 for 10% off and we're about to get to the mountain here. Here they are. Yeah. Bam. Brother? Tell me this isn't Niso's clothes from last night. It's Niso's clothes from last night. 100%. 200%. They were thawing out now. Whoa. What? <laughs> no way. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So good. Very dangerous. No somersaults or inverted maneuvers. <laughs> I wonder why. That's a lot of damage. You. Stomped it. No shoes either. <laughs> Back flipping, getting inverted Jumper. when they tell you Jumper. not to. <laughs> Just straight up criminal. We are up here at the mountain, clearly, and I didn't realize how sore I was from just throwing down super hard all day yesterday. If you guys didn't see the video, go check that out from yesterday after this. We were going full buck, and um, today I want to do a favor for you guys since you do so much for me, and I want to kind of explain and break down to you and show you the best and easiest way to improve your snowboarding, to get better at snowboarding, and this is not a weekend thing. This isn't an overnight thing. This takes a lot of time. And more than anything, I want to say it's time on a snowboard with anything in life. 10,000 hours, they say, until you're actually at a professional level with it. And if you do the math, that takes years of multiple hours every single day. And I have literally been snowboarding for only about seven years. And I got most of my improvement done in the first two to three years. I snowboarded every single day, year round. I booked flights all around the world, no matter what I had to do to chase winter, to chase snow, and to stay on snow. And I got literally most of my progression done in about three years, but in three years, that's almost a thousand days of riding. Almost every single day, besides taking breaks and stuff. So to really prove that theory to you guys, 
because I love snowboarding so much. Niso's down there. We're going to go hike some rails right now. We're going to go get some clips because I love snowboarding. I'm trying to improve it right now. So let's get into this and I will break down a little more for you guys how you can improve your snowboarding as the day goes on. trying to work on an individual trick taking the chairlift and getting one hit every five to eight minutes you're not gonna get it or you're not gonna get it as quick as you want you hike you probably get ten hits by the time you do one full mountain lap you already know blood sweat and tears it's just like with anything it just doesn't happen there's no one quick secret tip to making this happen you gotta put the work in always hike it's always worth it Music is so crucial if you listen to music. Some people don't like it, but you gotta keep the jams new. You gotta find the right music for the style. For me, if I'm trying to keep it steezy on rails, hip hop all day long. If I'm trying to do big jumps, sick metal, Kingdom of Giants. Everybody's got a different style of music, but. What are you listening to right now? Hip hop. Hip hop. Tremor, and it just keeps that steeze up. But yeah, you gotta have the right music. Gives you that extra amp. Psych yourself out, don't be scared. And if you're not feeling comfortable, don't go for it. Envision it in your head. Picture yourself stomping it. Picture yourself riding away. Feel the stoke of actually landing the trick and then open your eyes and then do it again. Yes, got him. Huge tip is you gotta stay stoked. Even if it's a trick that you've landed like 30, 40, 50 times and you're trying to film it and you just can't get it a couple times, you wanna get bummed out. You will never land anything if you're getting angry or kind of being a sour puss about it. You gotta stay stoked and realize that you're literally snowboarding. You're filming yourself snowboard. You're having the time of your life. You're not in an office. So many people would be dying to do what you're doing. So just like take a breath, take a step back, realize how stoked you are and how grateful you should be for actually being on the mountain and doing what you love. And then you're gonna get it. You got it. How there's all these people riding around a lot of them are good a lot of them are probably the best in the world around here right now and i'm just getting smoked we're looking like a fool falling on some of these tricks you can never be afraid to fall in front of people not only will they forget by the next run but it has nothing to do with you and your progression and if you're worried about falling then you're not going to get the trick if you're not worried you're going to get the trick in a couple tries and then you're going to be able to put it down whenever you want never be afraid to fall in front of anybody even the best in the world fall. That's the only way to progress. It's gonna be a long edit. Smoke. I don't really wanna overdo it, so I'm gonna get a couple chair lift laps. Chair lift laps. But I'm gonna hit one more nuke on this thing and then take the chair up. If you wanna get up to that jump there, let me show you guys that I can actually hit some jumps too for anybody who's just subscribing or about to subscribe. Alright guys, so we're cruising up the T-bar right now. Switched over to hitting a few jumps. 
trying to keep it super mellow today because it's very important when I said that you're going to be riding every day or almost every day that you play it smart and safe. If you want to ride year round, you have to be healthy. And if you want to be healthy, then you can't be falling. If you don't want to fall, you can't be trying stuff that you're not ready for or trying to perform too high when you're not actually feeling that good. So I'm feeling, you know, 720s and stuff because it's up to my level right now. A couple 540s, keeping it chill. And when you're hitting big jumps, like I was saying, I switch over to metal immediately. You gotta make sure that the music is super on point and it gets you stoked up, but it doesn't get you too stoked up to where you're trying stuff that you shouldn't be going for. You wanna know that you can get it done. You wanna be able to envision it in your head, picture yourself stomping it and riding away before you do it. If you can't even imagine yourself doing it or you don't think that you're capable of doing it, don't go for it because we're trying to ride every single day that's the main thing even if you are so sore and you come to the mountain and you strap in and you just cruise around it's the consistency on a board it's every single tiny bone in your body and every single muscle getting developed around snowboarding and the motions of snowboarding which you cannot train off hill it's amazing to train off hill and get yourself set up go for jogs lose weight get in the proper body shape and uh like you know yoga is huge stretching meditating getting your whole life balanced before you just go to the hill and try to just start chucking it. I'm sorry for you weekenders if this is not the news you wanted to hear, but it's pretty obvious. I promise you guys that if you're trying to go pro, hit me up, keep track of 10,000 hours of riding. And if you hit 10,000 and you hit me up and you're not pro yet, or if you hit 5,000 and you don't want to be a pro and you're not at an insane level of riding that you want to be at, hit me up, I'll give you your money back. <laughs> Well, all right, here we go. Sorry, I don't do too much talking normally, so this is a long one, but we're gonna take you through a little POV big kicker jump right now. Woo! Full combo. Confidence in Australia. Yeah, bro. Always thank the lifty. Very crucial, keep them happy. We thank you, brother. Cheers! Because without them, you'd be hiking. And you can't hike the big jumps. We got one more here. I'm gonna try to put down a, excuse me. That's actually a big thing right there. I'm not going to try. Never try something. Like I said, you gotta know you can do it. So if you're going for something, you're doing it and you're putting it down. Afterwards, you might not have landed it, but never try something, do it. So I'm about to do a back nine right now because why not, right? And it's actually pretty stock for me. We got the camera's about to die. Always thank your filmer. We love you, Niso. Love you. Up there just putting in the hours, improving his filming time. 10,000 hours, he's gonna be a professional filmer. And uh, yeah, here we go. One last banger. And uh, actually, I gotta break this down too because you guys like to think of that, that weird rule of never call last run. I believe in what I believe in. And I believe that if you believe in something, it's gonna come true. So. That being said, if you believe in the last run theory that you shouldn't call it or something might happen that you don't like, then you probably shouldn't call last run. For me, I always know that I'm gonna land everything. And if I don't, then I deal with it then, but this is about to be the last hit. I'm gonna prove to you guys my theory right now by stomping this back nine. First one of the season, I believe. Maybe second. Woo! Biggest tip of the day. Always do it for the boys. Woo! All right guys, I am pretty much beat for snowboarding right now. I wanna break down a couple last things before I end this tutorial and not trying to put you guys down for watching this video right now on YouTube because it is very crucial to watch people snowboarding to see what you wanna do. You gotta see the tricks and see how they do it and actually break it down in order for yourself to do it. So you wanna also film a lot. The more you film, the more you can see what you're doing wrong and the more you can actually see that when you land a trick for the first time and you think it was super sick and it looked awesome, oh my gosh, you were flailing your arms, you scrubbed the landing, you each the rail or something. So video recap is very crucial and that's how I honestly break down a lot of my tricks and see what I'm doing wrong. But also, sitting there on YouTube all day is not gonna help you get better at snowboarding. You gotta get out there, you gotta get on the hill, you gotta put those hours in and 
I appreciate you guys watching. And if you guys do like this video, the only way I'm making money right now is through YouTube. It's pennies on the dollar, but every single penny counts. And I have an Instagram. If you just wanna see the banger clips, you can go follow me at Casey Willax on Instagram. But if you wanna see the hardship and the struggles and what it takes, the grind that you gotta put in to get where you wanna go and to make your dreams happen, then subscribe to my channel right here because we are over 300 days in a row. For those of you who do not know, we are following our dreams. We are putting everything we have into one basket to make it happen. We're sleeping outside in the cold. We're just finding beautiful people around the world, helping us out. We're making our own meals. We're saving dollars everywhere we can. And if you like this video and you wanna see more of them, it helps so much. Subscribe, smash that like, leave a comment. All the good analytic things, they always help so much. Share it to your friends. And I'm gonna to try to start doing one video a week as a tutorial on my off days because you guys are hooking me up so much watching these videos that I wanna start helping you guys out. And it helps me remember what I'm actually doing when I break it down for you. So I don't do it a lot. I'm not really a tutorial guy. I just like getting out there and snowboarding and that's what most of my channel is. So if you wanna see good snowboarding once again, check it out, subscribe to this channel and uh, we're gonna get into the rest of this day here. Probably gonna go do a couple laps with the homies and then nuke it all the way to the coast. So stay tuned for the rest of this day, this vision, this life. Couldn't do it without you. So grateful, so much love, so much love for the filmer, Niso Hollywood out here. And I'll give you guys some more tips maybe if I think of them as we're cruising around here. Let's not forget also, you gotta go for it. You gotta get slammed, you gotta get back up. And that's the only way you're gonna learn. You might land it first try, you might land it a hundredth try, but if you're not out there trying it and you're watching the internet, somebody else doing it, that's not gonna help you. It'll help at first, watching the video, you know, breaking down their head spin or where they're looking, but in the long run, you gotta actually get out there. You gotta do it yourself. Shout out to Niso Hollywood for traveling along these travels right now and just staying up there every day, all day. How'd we do? Good, we got the shots. And it's not just snowboarding. If you're good at art, if you got good at construction, you got good at filming, it's ours. You know you gotta get out there, you gotta put the work in. And that's what we're trying to do out here. That work in, Eso. Got some good water too. Ooh, water. You guys are from Jersey. Or Philly. The Philly cheese! Okay, so I keep coming up with more and more things as I'm just walking around. I will ride and rip on anything, and if somebody rips, they're gonna rip. Andrew Reynolds will frontside flip a 20 stair on any skateboard. So, save your money, and you don't have to buy top of the line gear. You can go get something half new, and to you it's new, and just the feeling of having that new gear will make you ride better. But if you're gonna rip, you're gonna rip. I set my board up backwards all summer, and I just set my board up backwards this time too. Somebody commented in yesterday's video. True twin, so it doesn't matter, but doesn't even matter the way your board's set up. I have written broken decks, dings in that. None of that matters. The new technology, none of that matters. There's a couple crucial things, like if you want to ride big jumps, you're gonna need a regular flat camber board because if you have a reverse camber and you're spinning 360s and 540s and you're landing and you keep spinning, then that's obviously because your board is a rocker. You want the right type of board, but I don't know anything about technology, board technology. I barely wax my board. I just start up higher. If you want it, you gotta just get it no matter what setup you have. Get the gear, get out there, and just go for it. This is probably a 20 minute edit of just my neck already. Look at it, dude. They are loaded up. Where are we heading again? Wollongong. Wollongong. Wanuna. Get in with the Get in where you fit in. Just get us there. Boom, we made it. And we did not realize it was a four hour drive. It's dark out now. Grant, we're at the Cribby. We're here, we're in it. And I was right, the edit's like 20 minutes long, so we're about to shut this thing down. We're going surfing tomorrow morning. I just got one last tip for you that I forgot that I thought of on the car ride here, is you gotta ride with people that are better than you, and that will push you to go to their next level, and we're on the next level of going to bed right now. So hope you guys dug this video. Hope you guys got some insight, some help from it, and we will see you tomorrow. First time ever surfing in Australia. Woo!